Hey guys, what's up? I thought I'd do a quick bike check of my 2020 Scott Ransom, talk you through the components I built it with, and also some of my settings. Let's start by talking about the frame. My Ransom is a size large and 189 centimeters for anyone wondering. This is a tuned edition, meaning that it's a full carbon frame set, and it comes in this really nice sparkly yellow and orange color. The Ransom, both front and rear, has 170 millimeters of travel, and a really unique thing about the bike is the fact that you can run 27 and a half plus or 29 inch wheels in it, but we'll get onto that in a little while. Let's take a look at the cockpit on my Ransom. So we've got the Pro Tharsis 3.5 bar and stem. The stem is 45 millimeters in length. The bars are 800 millimeters in width and they've got a 20 millimeter rise. They're carbon. I've also got the Pro Tharsis trail grips, Shimano XT brake levers, and they use that iSpec EV to connect the shifter. Coming on to the other side, well, we've got Scott's suspension system, the twin lock lever right here. It's got three different modes. So it's open right now, pushing it once goes into trail, and then pushing again, it goes locked out. Really handy, but we'll get onto that when we're talking about the suspension. I've also got my dropper post lever right there. And I've also spent just a little bit of time. You can actually take a look right there. The cables are super neat, and I've tried to make sure that they're all flowing in the same directions to make it really tidy. The brakes on my Ransom are taken care of by Shimano. I've got the XT four piston. I've got 180 millimeter rotors, both front and rear. If I was going out to the Alps or somewhere to ride big mountains, I might perhaps put a 203 millimeter rotor in the front just to give that extra added stopping power. Let's talk about the suspension on my Scott Ransom. You've got the Fox 36 up front with 170 millimeters of travel, a Fit4 damper, and in here, I've got two volume spacers at 77 PSI. Now, I wanna talk a little bit more about the twin lock, maybe help you guys understand how I use it. So you've got three different modes, the open, which I use purely for downhill. The suspension is completely active. You've got lots of grip. It tracks really well and it absorbs all those big impacts. You then have the trail setting, which is perfect for, as it sounds, trail. So if you're riding a little bit of fire road or something that's not too technical, you push into that and the suspension just becomes a little bit more effective. You sit in a higher position. It's perfect for technical climbs or something like that. And then finally, you have the lockout. Now, I use the lockout when it's a fire road liaison or a bit of road. It basically eliminates all the pedal bob and means that you're getting the maximum amount of efficiency. The rear suspension on my Ransom is also handled by Fox. That shock is a new TR and it is exclusive to Scott. What makes it really special is the fact that it's got this little switch right here. It changes the ramp. So basically, you can go from riding really mellow trails, having loads of grip, to then flicking that on. You still have a lot of grip, and all of a sudden the bike is a little bit more progressive. Perfect if you're in the bike park, or if you've got different trails that you want to ride in one day. It's also got that twin lock setting that we we're talking about a little bit earlier on. And for those wondering, I've got 165 PSI in there. The drivetrain on my Ransom is taken care of by Shimano. I'm running the XT group set. I've got that big 10 to 51 tooth cassette. I've also got Shimano XT hubs. The derailleur right there, it's got those massive 13 tooth jockey wheels to ensure that it runs really smooth. We've got that Hyperglide Plus chain on there. And then talking about the crank set, that's 170 millimeters in length, 32 tooth chain ring. We've got Scott's own chain guide and it's all finished off with a set of Shimano XTR pedals that are clipping. I do sometimes change occasionally to flat pedals, depending on the riding terrain and what my mood is like. If I want to have more fun, sometimes I just chuck the flats on. And then if I'm going for bigger, longer rides, then I'll chuck on the FPDs just because I find them a little bit more efficient for uphill pedaling. The wheels and the tires I'm running on my Ransom well, I've got the Shimano XT hubs. I've got We Are One composites providing the rims. They're handcrafted in Kamloops, BC, and they're the agents in 27 and a half. And they're paired with a set of Schwalbe tires. On the rear, I've got the Hans Damp, and up front, I've got the Magic Mary. Both are in soft compound, and that's super gravity casing. Just give me a little bit more support and preventing against punctures. I've got 22 PSI in the rear right now, and then 19 up front. Like I said in the intro to the bike, 
you can actually run 27 and a half or 29 inch. Now, again, this is actually quite mood dependent for me. I sometimes put the 275 wheels on just because I find they're a little bit more playful and poppy. And then I'll put the 29ers on when I want to go really fast. If I was still racing enduro, then the 29er setup would be a must for me. Well, we've covered pretty much everything, apart from the fact that I've got a Fox transfer dropper post that's got 175 millimeters of drop. And then we've got the Pro Griffin saddle that's 142 millimeters in width. And I think you know pretty much every detail about my bike. If there's anything that I've missed or anything that you're curious on, then leave it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys real soon, hopefully out on the trails.